Xiaomi just released the Mi A3 and last year's Mi A2 dropped its price, leaving many of you confused that which one should you get. Or maybe you have been using the Mi A2 for some time and are looking for a reason to upgrade to the Mi A3 but not sure if it is worth the upgrade or not. Don't worry, I am Saga from Techworks and in this video, I will help you decide which one of these two is the right choice for you. Let us start with the point that you guys are most concerned about, price. Xiaomi launched the Mi A3 for a starting price of 12,999 rupees for 4GB RAM and 64GB storage variant and 15,999 rupees for 6GB RAM and 128GB storage variant, which is much lower than last year's introductory price of the Mi A2. Right now on Amazon, Mi A2 is available for close to 10,000 rupees for the 4GB RAM and 64GB storage variant and the 6GB RAM and 128GB storage variant is being sold for 15,999 rupees. There is a 3000 rupees difference between the base variants, but the 6GB RAM variant of both these phones are priced similarly, which doesn't really make sense to me. And for that price, going for the Mi A3 should be the obvious choice. If you are looking to get the base variants, let us see what the Mi A3 offers for the slightly higher price. Mi A2 came with a unibody metal back, which made it very durable. I have dropped this one a fair amount of times in the last year, and you can see the scuff marks at all the corners. But it fared pretty well and survived all those drops like a jam. Mi A3 on the other hand comes with a curved glass back which makes it feel more premium than the Mi A2 but it also makes it a lot more fragile. Xiaomi is using Gorilla Glass 5 for protection of the front and back of this Mi A3 but it is still glass and it will most definitely shatter if it takes a bad drop. So if you are planning on getting the Mi A3, make sure to use it with a good case. In terms of overall build quality, as I said, Mi A3 looks and feels much more premium than the Mi A2. And since it is narrower and has a much smaller overall footprint than a Mi A2, it feels much more comfortable in my hand. I can even reach most of the screen and use it with just one hand if I had to, which is not very easily possible for me to do on the Mi A2. Now the Mi A3 is smaller than the Mi A2 in terms of overall dimensions, but it is in fact packing a slightly larger display, 6.01 inch versus 5.99 inch on the Mi A2. Xiaomi was able to achieve this by dramatically reducing the size of the bezels on the Mi A3. A2 had these big bezels at the top and bottom, which are now replaced by a small notch at the top and a much narrower bezel at the bottom on the Mi A3, which looks far better and in line with most of the modern smartphones in my opinion. A3 also gets a Super AMOLED display instead of the IPS LCD one on the Mi A2. But the big disappointing part is that the resolution of this Super AMOLED display has been dropped down to 1560 by 720 pixels from 2160 by 1080 pixels on the Mi A2. That takes the pixel count down from 403 pixels per inch on the Mi A2 to 286 pixels per inch on the Mi A3 and this drop is noticeable especially if you are reading text or zooming on images. This might not bother everyone, but you should still check out the display of the Mi A3 in person in one of the Xiaomi stores if you are planning on getting this phone. I also don't like how saturated and punchy the colors from the Super AMOLED display are and in the settings there is no option to change the display color gamut or even turn the saturation levels down. Fingerprint sensor on the Mi A3 has been moved to the front under the display as opposed to the rear physical one on the Mi A2. Xiaomi claims the fingerprint sensor on the Mi A3 to be the 7th generation in-display fingerprint sensor, but it is still much slower and not as consistent as the physical one on the Mi A2. I prefer having a physical fingerprint sensor at the back, especially until the in-display ones get much faster and accurate than they are now on these budget smartphones. For buttons and ports, both have their volume and power button on the right side. SIM tray on the left, USB-C port for charging, a speaker grill and a dummy speaker grill for microphone at the bottom and at the top, along with the noise cancelling microphone and the IR blaster, we have the 3.5mm audio jack making its return on the Mi A3 after being left out on the Mi A2. This is a welcome move from Xiaomi as no one expected this port to come back once it is removed by the manufacturer. So big thumbs up to Xiaomi for this bold move. SIM tray on the Mi A3 again gets the option to add a micro SD card for further expanding the storage. It's a hybrid SIM tray, so you can either add two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM card and a micro SD card at a time. Whereas on the Mi A2, there is no option to expand the storage and the SIM tray can just hold two nano SIM cards. Mi A3 also offers a splash proof nano coating which will reduce the risk of liquid damage. This doesn't mean that the phone is waterproof, but it can withstand a few splashes of water or maybe a light drizzle of rain. The Mi A2 does not offer any such water resistance. We have already talked about the back being made of glass on the Mi A3 and the fingerprint sensor being moved under the display. 
So other than that, the only difference at the back of these phones is the addition of one extra camera on the Mi A3. Out of the three rear cameras on this Mi A3, primary one gets a 48 megapixel Sony AMX586 sensor with f1.79 aperture. Next camera gets an 8 megapixel sensor with f2.2 aperture and an ultra wide angle lens. Third and the final camera gets a 2 megapixel depth sensor. On the Mi A2, primary camera has a 12 megapixel sensor with f1.8 aperture and the secondary camera gets a 20 megapixel sensor again with f1.8 aperture. Here are some image samples that I took with both these phones. The first thing that you might notice is a slightly wider field of view from the primary camera of the Mi A3. Its images also have a bit more details but you won't notice it straight away just by looking at these images on a screen of a smartphone. A3 gets a much needed improvement in terms of dynamic range over the Mi A2 and you can see how well it manages the shadows and highlights. Colors are also a bit more natural and pleasing to look at from the Mi A3. The secondary wide lens on the Mi A3 lets you take images like these by standing at the same exact spot. These wide images are not as sharp or detailed as the primary ones but it is still nice to have a different perspective of the scene for some of the shots. For taking close up shots, Mi A2 is much quicker than the Mi A3 at setting the focus on a nearby object. But once the focus is set, close up shots turn out to be amazing from both the phones. Xiaomi's A series phones have always been great at taking portrait shots and the Mi A3 is no different. It can take even better portrait shots than the Mi A2 which at the time was at par with many of the higher priced smartphones. Portraits on the Mi A3 are much sharper, have better HD detection, handle the exposure better and show much more pleasing colors. Secondary lens on the Mi A2 plays a big role when it comes to lower lighting situations. In most of these low lighting shots, A2 produced images which are at par if not better than the Mi A3. But the Mi A3 gets a night mode which the Mi A2 doesn't have and that helps A3 pull way ahead in low light photography. This mode helps A3 take much brighter and better looking images in lower light. So if you love taking images, I would say the triple camera setup on the Mi A3 is a worthy upgrade over the dual cameras of the Mi A2. Mi A2 has a 20 megapixel selfie camera with f2.2 aperture while the Mi A3 gets a 32 megapixel selfie camera with f2.0 aperture. It should come as no surprise that the 32 megapixel camera on the Mi A3 can take much better detailed selfies. Overall sharpness, details, contrast level and dynamic range, everything is better in the selfies from the Mi A3. And this is carried forward while taking portrait selfies as well. Faces are in perfect sharp focus on the Mi A3 while they look a bit soft in the portrait shots from the Mi A2. Skin tones are also more natural in the images from the Mi A3. So overall, if camera performance is very important for you, then go with the Mi A3. All of its cameras are better than the ones on the Mi A2. Let us now see what is different on the inside of both these phones. The Mi A2 came with Snapdragon 660 processor which was built on 14 nanometer architecture. This processor is coupled with Adreno 512 GPU, 4 or 6 GB of RAM and 64 or 128 GB of internal storage respectively. It packs in a mere 3000 mAh battery which just wasn't enough to power this phone for an entire day. Mi A3 now comes with a Snapdragon 665 processor which is built on 11 nanometer architecture which means it is much more efficient and it is coupled with Adreno 610 GPU, 4 or 6 GB of RAM and 64 or 128 GB of internal storage respectively. It packs in a much larger 4030 mAh battery which along with the much efficient processor gives you more than a day's worth of power even if you are a heavy user. What these specs mean are, Mi A3 is much better than the Mi A2 in terms of overall speed and performance. We can see the same from some of these benchmark scores. The single core score in Geekbench 5 is similar from both but the multi core score on the Mi A3 is better and even if you don't feel the change in performance right away, rest assured that the newer processor on the Mi A3 is performing every task faster and more efficiently. So if you want a faster phone which will stay snappier for a longer time, go with the Mi A3. Software is what pulls most of the users towards these A series phones from Xiaomi. Because unlike other Xiaomi or Redmi phones running MIUI, these phones come under Google's Android 1 program and run almost stock Android. There are no pre-installed apps from the manufacturer, no bloatware and no ads or vague spam notifications, just pure stock Android. Both are running the latest version of Android Pie and the Mi A3 should be getting the Android 10 update sooner than the Mi A2. There are no special software features or tweaks here, just stock Android experience as you would get on a Pixel smartphone. If you want updates and software support for the longer time, then you will have to go with the Mi A3 because it will get one more major software update compared to the Mi A2. After looking at all these points, Mi A3 seems like the better choice. 
it does cost a bit more upfront and has a 720p display compared to the 1080p one on the Mi A2. But other than that, in all areas, Mi A3 is the one that comes on top. It has a better processor, much larger battery, 3.5mm audio jack, triple cameras at the back which give better results, software support for one more year compared to the Mi A2, overall smaller form factor making it much more manageable in your hands and an overall more premium and futuristic looking design. So if you're looking to buy one of these phones, I think all of this is worth extra 3000 rupees and the Mi A3 is the better option of the two. Mi A3 is also a good upgrade even if you are still using the Mi A2. But in that case, the price difference is not just the extra 3000 rupees, you will have to add in the loss that you take when selling your current Mi A2 which widens the gap between these two phones for you. Now those were all the points that we had to compare. I hope you guys got all the similarities and differences between these phones. If you want, you can go through the video again and note down the points that matter to you the most. That way it will be easier for you to make the decision. So what do you guys think about these two phones? And if you were the one trying to decide between these two phones, which one would you choose? Please let me know in the comments. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for more quality tech videos like this. You can also check out some of the other videos from this channel. This has been Saga and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Thank you.